This is Entertainment for Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Big Bang Theory Season 3, Episode 15, The Large Hadron Collision. And this episode gets this title because Leonard and Sheldon have a disagreement in this episode. After Leonard gets a trip to go see the CERN Super Collider in Switzerland, he opts to take Penny instead of Sheldon. The episode starts out in the university cafeteria with Sheldon, Raj, and Howard all having lunch, and they are shortly thereafter joined by Leonard. They are discussing their Valentine's Day plans, or lack thereof. The group is now divided into two or perhaps three groups, those who have girlfriends and those who don't. Both Howard and Leonard currently do. Hodge does not, and that's bugging him, and Sheldon does not either, but Sheldon doesn't want one. Or it says his plans are to take Bernadette to a discount deal he has at P.F. Chang's. Sheldon offers bad advice on how he should really be spending the day, to be historically accurate. And Raj says he'll be spending it alone at home eating rotisserie chicken over the sink by himself. And after trying to get them to ask him, Leonard reveals that he's been chosen to replace a professor who dropped out on a trip to Switzerland, where he will get to see the Large Hadron Collider. It happens that this trip falls on Valentine's Day. He reveals that he gets to bring a guest with him. Sheldon is very excited instantly and just leaves the cafeteria, assuming that he's going to be the guest to go with Leonard. I'm just going to run home and start packing. <laughs> why wouldn't you take Benny? I am taking Penny. And Raj asks him why he's not taking Penny, and he says he is taking Penny, which means Leonard has an awkward conversation waiting for him when he gets home. This episode creates an interesting conflict because I can see both sides. I can understand Sheldon wanting to go and thinking he should go, because the main point of this trip is more applicable to him. However, I can also understand Leonard seeing that he has this amazing opportunity and wanting to take his girlfriend with him on the trip. When Leonard returns to the apartment, he gives Sheldon the unfortunate news that he's planning to take Penny to Switzerland and not him. Sheldon is, of course, shocked by this and has one main objection. Penny has no interest in subatomic particle research. <laughs> Leonard tells him that he wants to be with Penny on Valentine's Day and have this romantic experience. Sheldon is, of course, just worried about the science and expresses that this has been a long-time dream for him. I've been dreaming about going to the Large Hadron Collider since I was nine years old. Which Leonard says being alone with a girl on Valentine's Day has been a long time dream of his, and Sheldon says that's no dream for a scientist. Next, we have Leonard trying to tell Penny that he's going to take her to Switzerland, and he's doing it by trying to give her several clues that would point towards Switzerland, but Penny is not picking up on the clues right away, and he eventually just tells her. She doesn't seem too intrigued when he says that they're going to see the Super Collider, but she does perk up and seem much more interested when he mentions that they'll be in Switzerland skiing as well. Although, he does point out that he'll be falling while she's skiing. Sheldon, however, is not yet to be deterred. He comes out and tells Penny that she won't be going. Leonard tells him they've already talked about this, and Sheldon says it doesn't matter because they have a written agreement about this. They have a section of their roommate agreement that states that if one of them ever got to go see the CERN Super Collider, that they would take the other with them. Do you recognize this? Uh, not the roommate agreement. Indeed. This is one of the first big conflicts caused by the roommate agreement, not at all the last. And I must say this is a very specific item to be in the agreement. It is specifically under the friendship charter. Sheldon points out that he upholds his parts of it, such as that he gave up his desire to learn throat singing. He mentions some other charters here, and Leonard says regardless, he's still going to take Penny with him to Switzerland. And Sheldon storms out of the room and begins throat singing in the other room. The next day, on their way into work, Sheldon is not talking to Leonard. Leonard suggests they play some driving game. Sheldon seems to go along, but really he's just using it as an excuse to further voice his displeasure. In the university cafeteria, Howard apologizes to Raj that he wasn't able to hang out with him the night before because he was out on a date with Bernadette. Raj says he saw the tweet and used the evening to wish ill will on Howard. Leonard joins them and asks what they would do in the situation with Sheldon, and Howard says that he would take Sheldon to Switzerland and leave him there. The question is, would he actually take him, or was this just an opportunity to take a jab at Sheldon? Sheldon walks over and delivers to Leonard a tray full of 30 pieces of silver Silverware, using this to draw a comparison to him and Judas, for the second time in this episode. Next, we see Sheldon try a different tactic, as he's trying to soothingly wake Leonard up in the morning by playing some music on a recorder. When Leonard does awake, he reveals that he's made him breakfast in bed, including juice, coffee, some fruit, and Frodo-shaped pancakes, and a scone. And Sheldon tells him that this is his way of an apology for his recent behavior. He says that after they finish breakfast, they could watch the final season of Babylon 5 with director commentary, show which Leonard likes, but Sheldon hates. Leonard thanks him for the breakfast and says that all sounds great, but then he reveals that he's still going to be taking Penny to Switzerland, and not Sheldon. So Sheldon is frustrated and he decides to take back the Frodo pancakes. No Frodo for you. <laughs> Sheldon is still not to give up as he decides to go another route and go around Leonard and talk to Penny. He finds her in the building laundry room, and he has made a PowerPoint presentation in which he intends to show her that will show why he deserves to go to Switzerland and not her. And as is kind of his way, as he's trying to make a point, he's insulting Penny along the way. And at first, Penny is not at all deterred, says that Leonard invited her and she intends to go. However, then Sheldon manages to apply some guilt and make her feel bad, and she says she'll talk to Leonard and he should get to go if it's so important to him. He thanks Penny and gives her a rare hug and leaves the laundry room. Back at the apartment, Sheldon is 
cooking a switch dish while Howard and Roger there having dinner as well, talking. Roger's going over how he plans to spend Valentine's Day to try to make himself feel better about not having a date, which Howard tells him can't be done. Leonard comes in and he's clearly angry with Sheldon about going behind his back to Penny. Sheldon clearly thought the deal was sealed and it was all good news for him. Where Leonard reiterates that he gets to pick who goes with him and he says at this point, because of how Sheldon's been acting, he would rather go by himself than take Sheldon with him. She told me that you went behind my back to guilt her into letting you go instead of her. Yes, that good news. Sheldon says if that's how he feels going forward that they can be roommates, but they can no longer be friends. The roommate agreement would no longer have the friendship charter. We then see Leonard and Penny in bed discussing their coming up trip, and Penny starts sneezing, showing that she might be getting sick, and then later in the night, Leonard is woken by the sound of Penny getting much sicker in the bathroom. And it's quickly clear that she's not going to be able to go on the trip, in a few hours. So Leonard goes over to his apartment to tell Sheldon that he can come in Penny's place. However, we then see that Sheldon is also sick. Next we see Sheldon and Penny both sick in his apartment as Penny is bringing them both soup. Sheldon is trying to figure out how this could have happened because he's very meticulous about his health. He then has a momentary flashback to hugging Penny in the laundry room and realize that it's her who he touched. It's you! I touched you! Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, they are both unfortunately out of the trip to Switzerland. But did Leonard end up going alone? No, he goes with Raj. Which honestly, with how things have been going for Raj recently, is very deserving. Nice to see something good happen to Raj. Yeah, I forgot about all this. <laughs> but I never will. <laughs> And Leonard points out that he forgot all the Valentine's Day stuff he set up for Penny, but Raj says he never will. And that's where we end the episode. So as I said before, this episode's a difficult one for me because I can see both sides of the situation. I can see Sheldon's side because he wants to go as a scientist, and him and Leonard had even discussed it earlier and had a written agreement about it. Super Collider is somewhere that any physicist would want to go. He's thinking about it purely from that scientific-minded perspective. Leonard, on the other hand, while being excited about going to see the Super Collider, also sees the opportunity to have a romantic weekend in another country with his girlfriend. And on top of all that, it's Valentine's Day. He can't be blamed for wanting to make his choice, but Sheldon can't be blamed for being upset about it either. What's also surprising to me is that it seems like in this situation the university would have chosen Sheldon to go on this trip instead of Leonard in the first place. I'm no expert in the world of physics at all, but Sheldon is a theoretical physicist and Leonard is an experimental physicist, and based on the work that they describe of each other, it just seems to me that Sheldon's work would be more applicable to this opportunity. Penny's just kind of caught in the middle. I kind of feel bad for her in this episode. She gets a great opportunity to go and shouldn't feel bad about taking it. Doesn't even express a willingness to let Sheldon go. He's unfortunately struck an Dylan can't go and manages to take Sheldon down with her unintentionally, of course. And really, she's the real victim here because she's stuck with a sick Sheldon, which, as we've seen in a previous episode, can be a very nightmarish thing. Real question is, they're both sick, who's gonna sing Soft Kitty? I like the reappearance of the roommate agreement here, which we are far from done with. And I do like the conclusion of the episode, because although this weekend's not gonna turn into what Leonard wanted, at least Raj actually ended up getting a good Valentine's Day. Raj has kind of been the man on the outside since both Leonard and Howard have been dating, so it's just good to see something good happen to him. This is a very good episode overall, and I score it at a 9 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section, and if you side with Leonard or Sheldon in this episode about who should have gone to Switzerland. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and please keep an eye out for my next video coming soon.